So a couple of days ago, I decided to give Astro a try. And honestly, I haven't put enough time into this to even give you a solid opinion on it. I was trying to build out basically a really simple uh, personal website for my YouTube channel. And I decided to just try Astro instead of my usual T3 stack stuff because I just need some static content, right? Astro is supposed to be really good for static sites. Um, I mean, you can also have some dynamic content as well on those, but it's really good at minimizing your bundle size and making your site load. So, you know, I did the Astro create command. If you can do, go to the documentation, they tell you how to do it. And that sets up an Astro project. And it's very similar to Next in, in the terms of like, we have like pages and layouts and components and stuff. But if you look at the top page, um, again, this is like, I think, file-based routing. So if I were to make a new Astro page here and just say like, hello.astro, just go ahead and paste that in. I believe I can go to slash hello here and that'll load up a page as well. So file-based routing, nothing too different from Next if you're familiar with Next. So in terms of how Astro works, it's very similar to like Next in terms of the file-based routing or Svelte kit. I would say the syntax is more similar to like Vue or Svelte where you have your styles that are kind of inside the component file itself. And you have like your HTML that's just looking like normal HTML, no JSX here. And then you have your code. Now the thing I like about Astro is that you can actually do a lot of things with a lot less code. So if you wanted to run some type of like asynchronous call to get some data and have that like generate static pages, I think you can do that. Again, I've only touched like the, the top 5% of this thing by basically setting up a project, changing some HTML, saving it and getting deployed. I'll probably check this out more when I add more features to my front end. But for right now, I want to show you like, what did I do to get this thing deployed? Okay, so I went ahead and I ran an NPM run build. And that basically takes all your Astro pages and components, compiles them into a disk folder. And this is something you can actually host on your website, right? Or a CDN, depends on what you want to host it on. Now, technically, you don't have to run the NPM build on your local, um, but you could, and you can copy these to like, you could, you could FTP these over to some place that you're hosting. Or in our case, I'm using Amazon Amplify to host this. And I have it set up with a domain. So I want to kind of walk you through that process in case anyone else out there also wants to use Amplify and set up a little uh, website. So right now I have webdevcody.com. If you go to it, it loads up that same Astro page. Uh, there's absolutely no nothing on this. Like I do plan to come back and work on this, but for right now, like I just wanted to get something hosted. All right, so the first thing is how do you actually host this? I plan to use Amazon, mainly because I use Amazon at work, so I'm familiar with a lot of these services. But also Amazon's pretty cheap. If you can get over the hurdle of like learning how to configure this stuff for yourself, Amazon's actually pretty cheap for the most part, assuming that you kind of are careful with what you spin up. Now they have something called Amplify, which kind of acts as a lot of these other online services that basically point to your repo and automatically deploy. So what I did is I went to new app and I said, host a web app, which is hidden by my head. So I said, host a web app. I said GitHub, continue. And then I entered in some information. I selected the repository that I wanted. And I think that's about it. You can kind of use the default build settings where you can configure. Actually, let's just do this real quick just so people can learn from what I'm doing. You can select the branch, click next. So this is the part where basically you tell Amplify, how do you build my project, right? So you can edit this if you want to, but for the most part, this is a pretty standard configuration where it runs NPM and CI to install your node dependencies. It builds your bundle. And then I do believe I had to change this. So like I had to edit this. And remember I talked about that disk folder. I believe I had to put dist here. And then to say that, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I had to change. You review it and you click submit. So once that's done, that'll go ahead and set up your site. Now, one thing I will say I had to do is I also wanted to set up HTTPS, which I believe was in the next steps. Um, so once it's set up, you go to domain management, I believe, and you can go ahead and add in, I think a new HTTPS certificate, and you can add a domain. So I kind of went through that process and you can type in your domain here and click save, and that'll add your domain. I think it also set up your certificates and ACM which you can kind of use. And they kind of walk you through, they have good docs on Amplify of how do you like connect this to different domain providers. In my case, I am using Google domains for my domain. Usually I use Namecheap, but for whatever reason, Namecheap uh, kept declining my 
my uh, debit card. So I decided to use Google Domains, it worked fine. It was a little bit more expensive, so I'm not happy about that. But anyway, I got the domain here. And if you go to manage, uh, over here on the left, you go to DNS, and you can actually use some of the information that Amplify gave you. So when you set up the certificates, it tells you that you need to add these things as C names to your domain. This is how AWS is able to verify your certificate. And then I had to add this to basically point www.webdevjunkie.com to CloudFront. Behind the scenes, when you set up Amplify, it basically sets up a CloudFront distribution, which is basically a CDN which hosts your static files across the globe to make them load really fast. So that's what's going on behind the scenes. And I also have to set up domain forwarding. So for some reason, Google domains, they don't have something that you need to be able to point your base domain to Amplify. So I had to set up some type of domain forwarding where basically if you hit this domain, it just kind of redirects you to www.webdevjunk or webdevcody. Um, and I believe I had to go to like website and click edit forwarding for that to basically forward this to this. Uh, and you know, one thing I did just point out, one thing I noticed is that this probably should have an HTTPS in here. So let's just go ahead and save that. Don't know why that wasn't set up. So that's, those are the steps. Once I had that all going, I had to wait for like a little bit for stuff to propagate, for my certificate to verify, for my DNS to resolve. And then uh, I had my, my site deployed, okay? Fully deployed here. So that's kind of how I, went about deploying my Astro site. Again, there's other services you can use to deploy your sites. I decided again to stick with Amazon because it is really cheap. Um, as long as you don't get much traffic, I think when you start getting a lot of traffic, that's when you have to start number crunching and figure out how much are they actually gonna charge me. But to have a simple distribution that's not getting any traffic, I don't believe they're gonna charge you much. Let's just look at the billing real quick. I had this thing open for like a couple of days now and let's look at Amplify, how much have they charged me? It looks like it says zero. Um, I am using the free tier build minutes. So I guess they do charge you for building your application on their services. Um, the storage, obviously I'm using the free tier as well. And then bandwidth, no one's hit my site. So maybe I'll come back and update this with like, what are the real costs of using a site on Amplify? But for the most part, if you're on the free tier, uh, it will not cost that much but it's always good to like make sure you're constantly either setting up alerts on amazon or coming and checking this because depending on all these different things like data transfers and whatever hitting costs amazon might hit you with your bill can rack up right so make sure you keep checking that and if it seems like your bill's too high that's when you can consider migrating to a different service but overall i like it um i'll let you know in a little bit i'll probably make some more content in the future about astro when i learn more about it but for the most part, it just seems like it's a pretty standard uh, framework for just setting up a server-side generated site. And uh, yeah, in the comments, let me know. Do you guys use Astro? Do you guys like using Astro? It seems like it's pretty nice. That is about it. I just want to make a quick video on this just so someone else can like see the deployment process of a static site. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Press the bell icon. Also, feel free to join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to talk with some other developers. Have a good day and happy coding.